let's address some of the issues that have come out of the Super Eagles camp before the game tonight. On Tuesday evening, words came out of Dale Jom that former Super Eagles goalkeeper Vincent Ayama was told to leave the Super Eagles base in Visa, Belgium. Coach Sonny Olise says Ahmed Musa is my new captain, but there's been talks about how he was communicated and there was a misunderstanding between Vincent Ayama and the coach. As we speak, Vincent Yama says it's all over with national team football. The Super Eagles have gone to play and they've lost by two goals to nothing. Issues, sports fans, let's talk sports tonight. Let's go to Lille in France, where former Super Eagles goalkeeper Vincent Yama <coughs> is standing by to speak to us tonight on the show. Vincent, if you're with us, good evening and welcome to the show. Yeah, good evening. Good evening to everyone there. Good evening to Nigerians. Good evening to everyone watching. Mm. Vincent, I spoke to you this morning and um, you weren't so certain what your next decision was going to be. At noon, I got to speak to you again. You say it's all over with national team football. Why did you take that decision? Yeah, um, really, I want to thank God, first of all, for, for all the years um, I've saved Nigeria. And um, uh, I want to say I'm really very sorry for what is coming out and how it's turning out and um, how everything is unfolding. Uh, it's not really what I wanted. It's not really how I wanted to end it. But then I don't have a choice. To uh, if the coach if the coach says he doesn't want me in his team, if the coach says um, I'm not, a, he doesn't know me, he doesn't want to know me, he doesn't. I mean, what can I do? I I wouldn't want to be a second or a third goalie in the national team after 13 years. So I wouldn't want to be in the national team and um, my presence is causing more problems than good. Nigeria is on the, like um, the, the, the other guy said, we are rebuilding. So I would want to be a part of a positive rebuilding, you know, positive rebuild, rebranding or rebuilding of the national team, whatever. I wouldn't want my presence in the national team to cause problems. I wouldn't want my presence in the national team to cause division amongst Nigerians. No, not NAS, South NAS, and things like that. So I think, I mean, I took a stand. I, let, I, I made that decision. Vincent, what I mean, happened? My, my decision is really to make Nigerian progress. My decision is really to make Nigerian move forward. Because I realized that I'm, I think my, my, my presence in the, in the national team was hindering a whole lot of things from happening or stopping a whole lot of things from being realized. So I have to move on. I have to move on and so that Nigeria can move on in a positive direction. But Vincent, tell us, the, tell us the, the story of what happened on Tuesday evening. We've heard all sorts. Let's hear from you. What went down between you and Coach Sonny really? Olise? I tell you the truth. I, I got into camp on Tuesday evening and um, it was fine. Reception was perfect. The coach played with me, laughed with me. He was his normal, great guy self, you know. He received me into training, even though they had started, they were training already. And um, dinner came. Dinner time came. We had dinner, and he was he was a little bit angry with the team. The way we trained, the way the team trained, that it wasn't the right way to train. If we were to succeed, I mean, he did a perfect talk. But he ended up by saying that he invited four goalkeepers because he never wanted, he never expected that I was going to come. I mean, I can understand he has his own point. He never expected me to come. And um, he also said at the end of it that Musa is a captain. For me, it's not a problem. Captainship and things like that is never a problem for me. It's not my bet right, like I've heard a lot of people say. So I, I didn't, I, I didn't bother about it. But then I picked up my food. I wanted to eat, but I wanted to know why Musa was chosen to be the captain without me being told. At least after 13 years of national service, I think if a decision has to be taken on me, I think I need to be communicated to. I think I need to be told. I think someone needs to say, Vincent, come to my room. Vincent, this is what we want to do. So, but I wanted to ask this question, and the coach never allowed me to ask, and I insisted in asking the questions. And um, he told me to walk out. If I insist in asking, is that, is that the team's going to walk out on me, and I will sit alone in the room, or I have to walk out on the team that I'm not permitted to talk? And I insisted. 
to talk because I mean I think I I deserve to be heard. And he said if I insist again, he's gonna call the security guys to throw me out of the hotel, which I didn't find funny. But I walked out of the. He opened the door for for me to walk out. He's the one that opened the door for me. Something I, I've never, I can't imagine happening to me. That's what happened the night. And um, after some players came to me and we spoke, and um, then the president called me, Pini, called me to stay in camp that he's going to sort it out. I mean, I stayed the night. The following day, um, uh, he made a team. He, he made the preparation for, for, he said he's a team he's planning to build for the future. And um, I was not there. I was the second goalkeeper on the team. He made a team with Carl. Uh, for me, it's okay. And he said he gave, he gave, he's giving Carl the the power to lead the team. He's giving Musa the power to be the captain. And um, I don't have a problem with captainship. I really don't have a problem with captainship. But my only problem is after 13 years coming to be a second or a third goal. I mean that I can professionally is not good for my career because then my club's gonna sack me. I can't be a third goalie. Uh, to to call to to others. Um, I mean, my decision is really for for Nigeria to move on. My decision is really for Nigeria to to be up again. My that's my wish. That's my prayer. My decision is national. It's for the national interest. I want Nigeria to get back to glory days. So I don't want to be the hindrance, the stumbling block to to that progress. Well, then he said, came in on the bus and, and said he was angry because I made a post on Instagram on my page and um and was talking I didn't want to say anything, I didn't say anything and he said he didn't he didn't know me, he doesn't know me, he's not interested in knowing me because he's he doesn't wanna know me. So that it's not important for him to know me. So if a coach says that he doesn't want to know me, then I'm, I mean, my career in the national team is done. But, but, but I want to understand this. There. You said, you said Coach Sonny Olise said he wasn't expecting you in camp. Wasn't it Coach Sonny Olise that I invited you uh, for these friendly games? I don't know. He said he invited four goalkeepers because he never expected me to come to camp. I, I was surprised to hear that. I'm not lying. I'm not adding a word to whatever he said. I'm not taking... I might not say it word by word the way he said it, but that's what he said. So he said he, he doesn't know me. He doesn't want to know me. It's not important for him to know me again. You know? So when he said that, then I was like, Vincent, this is when we need to leave. If the coach doesn't know you and he's not interested in knowing you, then you don't have a, you are, you don't have a place in this team. So I spoke to a lot of people and um, I just took my decision.